up a bit. Ain't nothing change, it's the same. You still skylarking. Most got stepdaddies like Harden. They heart in, fixed in their ways, they too hardened. Some got convictions, even if they apply, they the victims, and get no pardon. All my knackers in the pen, middle finger to the warden. Free your mind, even though your body barred in. This war that I'm starting, might not want to pardon. Sworn to be savior Walk through the valley of the shadows of the depth of his slavery Looking for life, the book of Genesis Astro playing entrances, info the nemesis Abstract images of past lives kicking in Danger, running for your life, finishing Morris or Maul, key man or oracle Using trinity powers to cipher allegorical Common sense was indeed before book sense Canaan Land Moors presents Common sense with 
legendary, bury me in the north gates, cemetery, February the fourth days, son of Mary, day ahead of my born day, independence of law, makes it a little of a lost case, with case laws, we break them down like Jericho, keeping all my lions tamed, I'm Chris Jericho, I'll keep a mask on deck, I'm Ray Mysterio, fake pandemics announced over the radio, annoyed with the game, the joys and the pains, I rock bass, mix it with rock the hard way, I was in a lost state, Prophets stood me up right, brought me to a lost gate, cooking like I'm soft bait, prepping like I'm Denzel, Michael Max, Deja Vu, Roman J. Israel, had no but I lay in plain sight, but people still can't see it, so the snake's still showing up, the state's still high, so the race still going up, warriors of the North Gate, we not slowing up, born in the manger, sworn to be savior, walk through the valley of the shadows of the death, dip in slavery, looking for life, the book of Genesis, astral plane entrances, info the nemesis, abstract Images of past life's kicking in danger, running for your life, finishing. Morris Lamar, key man or oracle, using trinity powers to cipher allegorical, lost in metaphorical, holy books are metaphysic, facts like a dirty more or a Drew Ali critic, calling them Thomas or Walter and get your face caved, or cut like a close shave, drowned in my brain waves, squashed by heat waves, activating Kundalini, Abyssinia invaded by Mussolini, Selassie I am exile, reptile in Genesis, Negro appear in real, all I see is false evidence, VA are feminists, stomped on by elephants, more like more prejudice, but want Moorish benefits, when you feel the cold magnetic resonance, apis horns of the sacred book called Maleficent, great cosmic mothers, return to blessedness, no pestilence, ace all the testaments, tap into remembrance, never to forget again, use energy right, not put spell effects on men, wander in the earth plane with no they live shades, keeps you a mental slave, as the horizon fades, it's been decades, since Christian crusades, Says, not enough rebellions, too many visual bouquets Holding on to the fence, burning on doomsday War ruled by Mars, it might be on a Tuesday Canaan Land Moors presents Comic Sense Quick Quick What we do here, we add some common sense thinking To everyday situations or comments that may arise Want to give it a try? To leave for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We are all rightfully concerned about communities like mine uh, that are at serious risk of being undercounted in 2020 census. But something I'm particularly concerned about is the lack of representation on the forum of people who look like me. Starting in 2015, a research effort spanned years under the previous administration, led by the Office of Management and Budget. Uh, by community organizations like Access and the Arab American Institute and many others which pushed to add the new category to the 2020 survey called Middle Eastern North African, or what we call MENA. In 2015, Director, the category went into the field for testing, and based on the findings, the Census Bureau recommended the inclusion of MENA category in the 2020 Census. Despite these findings, however, the Census Bureau announced under the current administration that MENA category would not be included in the Census. Dr. Dillingham, do, do I look white to you? Congresswoman, I, I think that uh, um, if you tell me what you identify with, then I, I think I would respect that. Sure. So, Dr. Uh, Director, are you aware that people like me who are Arab, Middle Eastern, North African have to indicate that they're white on the U.S. Census? Um, Congresswoman, we actually have on the, uh, and, and, and I, I understand, uh, you know, that there was a process in, 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 in deciding uh, before, certainly before I got to the census, and there's a history to coming up with the questions and, and, and the race and the ethnicity categories, um, and that uh, OMB... No, they ignored uh, it, but, but, Director, but, before you... Yeah. But they ignored it. The previous administration decided to put me on the form. They ignored it. But do you think I, if I circled white category, that would be an accurate, accurate depiction of my racial and ethnic background? Uh, Congresswoman, we do not second guess what you put on, what you put down okay. there. Okay. And, well, and, and not, we do have a write-in. We do have a write-in. Director, can, right. you're not giving me an option because let me tell you, there's there's a reason why the recommendation happened. Yeah. Because what circling white on the census changed my lived experience as a person of color in our country, right? Even saying that, you understand there's a difference when you actually have the checkoff box. Because the MENA community, like others, relies on accurate census representation for health research, director, sure. language assistant, civil rights laws, 
in reporting educational outcomes. In addition, it would help address things like crime reporting, Director, uh, helping minority business owners get loans and drawing congressional and state legislative boundaries. So, Director, do you believe it is important to better collect racial and race information from census participants of Middle Eastern and North African descent? Um, Congresswoman, do you I, believe I, that, though? I, I can say that uh, by having the right in provision, that is the Sir, option. it doesn't have the same impact, and you know that. You know that. No. That's why the community pushed to add the category of MENA, and they did it right. They went through the process, and they got it approved. And this administration decided to ignore them and to make them invisible again, right? That's what you're doing. You're making us invisible. No, the continued absence of this ethnic category contributes to erasing us. Our living, working, we all live and work and raise our families here. I truly believe this issue needs to be addressed, and we need your leadership to push yeah. back against this current administration's lack of wanting to see people like me being represented on an official government federal form that decides around funding, decides how they're going to treat us, how they're going to approach health research, language ass assistance, all those kinds of things. And I mean, you know, Director, we need to get it right because I'm not white. I'm not. And I don't just, you know, try to say to others that you should be this or that. But when I sit on this form and I look at it, I don't see myself represented on this form. And I think that's a huge issue for people like me. And I need you to do more in pushing back against this current administration, ignoring what the previous administration was. I don't see myself represented on this form. And I think that's a huge issue for people like me. And I need you to do more and don't see myself represented on this form. And I think that's a huge issue for people like me. And I need you to do more in pushing back against this current administration, ignoring what the previous administration was able to do. And the U.S. Census Bureau decided to add MENA, and they ignored it. Um, Congresswoman, I, I can assure you that uh, we continue to study race and ethnicity and uh, the options for self-reporting that director and and that and and, and, and let me let me just let me let me just say that but we, we've uh, we been want studied your view, enough. we want your views and we're beginning the process of looking at the 2030 census it's and we, too late it's too late because for 10 years we will be invisible to health research to a number of things small business loans we will be invisible for another decade in our country and i think it's wrong and and it was wrong to ignore the efforts of not only the Office of Management and Budget, but organizations like Access, AI, and others who followed the process, did what they needed to get public input to making sure that they are seen finally by their own federal government. Armenians, as well as Syrians and Turks, who had all been freely naturalized in this court until now, holding that a Syrian born in Damascus was a free white person, a Syrian who was a native of the province of Palestine and a Turkish subject was a free white person. A large number of Syrians have been naturalized without question and reversing ex parte. A petitioner born in Palestine was a free white person. A native and citizen of Iraq whose parents were full-blooded Arabians and whose ancestors came from Turkish stock was a free white person. The Arabian race were free white persons. An Arab, um, an Arab born 
in Beit Hanina, Palestine, was a free white person. A native and citizen of Afghanistan, of the Afghan race, was a free white person. People from the Near and Middle East had an instinctive Asiatic feeling, wrote that Persians and Ottoman Turks were largely white in contrast to other groups in the region. The origins of the Luso Africans, whose use of white and black may be traced to the 16th century. Almada uses the term black to refer to Africans and quote unquote white to refer to Portuguese and Cape Verdeans. His use of the terms likely reflects attitudes about color prevalent in the late 16th century. At the same time, however, Almada's terminology does not, N-O-T, follow a simple binary oppositional model, and it transforms the pre-existing Iberian terminology. Already in the 16th century, Cape Verdean society was widely intermarried, Almada himself was apparently a mulatto. Nevertheless, he places himself in the category of white. That his family belonged to the island elite and that they owned slaves suggests that white and black referred not to skin color but at least in part to social class. A sense of the Luso African's early use of color terminology can also be inferred from Jobson's observation that they objected, but they never saw black to being called Negroes to the Portuguese, many of whom were professional slave traders, Negro meant slave. A social status, as social status, remained relatively fluid in southern Senegambia in the 17th century. The distinction between free and slave did not imply the adoption of a rigid system of identity categories by the Portuguese. Oh, so the black and all that stuff comes from some Europeans. Okay. A century after Jobson, Francis Moore, 1732 observation confirms an association of social status with the terms white and black. And in 1818 at the Luso African trading community of Geba in present day Guinea Bissau, Jaspard Mollien observed blacks and mulattoes who are nevertheless called white because all who are free claim this title. From the late 16th century, one perceives a consistent system of ascribing, meaning whereby white implies both social status, slave trader, free man, and references to cultural and blood ties to Portugal. In this system of meanings, there exist similarities to the language of identity of the Moors of southern Mauritania. There, as James Webb has demonstrated, the term white, bidan, implied not skin color, but rather cultural identity and social status. They were free. And that's from Portuguese style and Luso-African identity pre-colonial 
Senegambia by Peter Mark. So what's this Congress lady talking about? What's she talking about? And what's anybody else talking about? But they're talking about they're black, they're not white. No, you're not. You're white. Stop the dumb stuff. You're free. Didn't they didn't they say emancipation and all that type of stuff? When they free the slaves? Okay, so if you're free, how are you black? If white means free, and then these people took the shackles off you and took you off the plantation and all that stuff, told you you're free and you ran off the plantation and all that, you know, and, and you took underground railroads and you, you know, killed slave masters, burned down plantations and stuff like that, how are you, how you black? Are you supposed to be free? The free people are white. So if the free people are white, and then they let you go from slavery, but you call yourself black, which means that you're a Negro, which means that you're a slave. Then how are Moors wrong in something? How are we wrong? We went through two references, probably from some Europeans, proving to you that white and black are not identities of people. They're societal statuses. Which one are you? You black? All right, then, yeah. Enjoy fire and brimstone and all that stuff that you read about in the scriptures and revelations. Because that's all blacks get. And then you're mad at people who are claiming white just because your dumbass isn't claiming it. If you claimed it, then they can't claim it. But that's too much. So, remember... Moore's been telling people. Moore's been telling people. This is not some new stuff for Moore's. We've been known this. We've been no White power to all the free white people in the chat. White power. White power to the chat. Who knows they're free white people playing games? You want to play games? Okay, let's play games. White power. Forget that black power stuff. White power. Honors to every clansman. Honors to every Jew. Honors to everybody who stood up for their nationality. They stood up for their nationality. And then the people who don't want a nationality, they're crying. They're crying somebody's racist. No, no, we're not doing no Islam today. <laughs> we're doing white power today. That's our Islam today. White power. Everything. Even after you get off this. White power all day today. Because we are the free white people. We're not Negro, black, colored, Ethiopian. We're not any of these schools of thought that people are posing off as a nationality. Right? I know it's kind of hard for some of you back there, but don't worry. Just put that white power out. You'll feel better after. <laughs> I know it feels funny. <laughs> Even at the house, you say the quiet. White power. Gonna have people messed up when they jump in here late. White power! <laughs> like, what is this? What is going on? The boys have lost it. <laughs> White power. How do boys stand to the senses? Okay, let's go back again. Let's go back again. Right? How do Morris handle the census? Let's go back again. Let's go back. It's only five minutes. We got some time. A budget uh, by community organizations like Access and the Arab American Institute and many others, which pushed to add the new category to the 2020 survey called Middle Eastern North African, or what we call MENA. 
In 2015, Director, the category went into the field for testing, and based on the findings, the Census Bureau recommended the inclusion of MENA category in the 2020 Census. Despite these findings, however, the Census Bureau announced under the current administration that MENA category would not be included in the Census. Dr. Dillingham, do, do I look white to you? Now, after you read all the stuff, right, we just read now. Now, how are you looking at this now? Does she look white? All right, white power. So, if she looks white, right, if she looks white, and then people are looking at like, she doesn't look white, she looks Arab, or she was, uh, that's how you know they have the social conditioning in their mind, because white and black has nothing to do with how you look. Dummy. White and black has nothing to do, it doesn't matter. Do I look white? Your question is colored because you can't look like a status. That's that's not that's not the question, right? But now listen to his response now, right? For 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 um for the question, remember this is Dr. Dillingham. This is the Census Bureau director. This is the Census Bureau director, right? Remember, this is the director. We're not talking about we're talking to the cashier right now because they're hearing your food. Right? We are talking to the cashier. You saw them drop your fries and then put it back in the bag and, and, and try to serve it to you. We're talking to the director of the Census Bureau. Again, for the more who was asking the question in the chat with regard to what do Moors put on the census. Right? Remember, this is the director for, for if, you know what I mean, after this, and you did the census and then like that, and then you, you put whatever you did. And if something doesn't go your way, here's the guy you talk to. Because this is the guy who should know what you should put on the census. So let's hear, let's hear what he says. Congresswoman, I, I think that uh, uh, if you tell me what you identify with, and I, I think I would respect that. Sure. So, Dr. Uh, Director, are you aware that people like me who are Arab, Middle Eastern, North African have to indicate that they're white on the U.S. Census? Um, Congresswoman, we actually have on the, uh, and, and, and I, I understand, uh, you know, that there was a process in, 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 in deciding, um, before, certainly before I got to the census, and there's a history to coming up with the questions and, and, and the race and the ethnicity categories. Um, and that uh, OMB... No, they ignored approved, it. But, but, Director, but, before you... But yeah. they ignored it. The previous administration decided to put me on the form. They ignored it. But do you think I, if I circled white category, that would be an accurate, accurate depiction of my racial and ethnic background? Uh, Congresswoman, we do not second guess what you put on, what you put down okay. there. Okay. Huh? Hold on. Let's just... Let's just... Hold on a second. Let's just check. Let's just check this. Out. Put down Okay. There. And, well, you're and, and, not accurate depiction of my racial and ethnic background uh, congresswoman we do not second guess what you put on what you put down okay. there. ethnic background uh, congresswoman we do not second guess what you put on what you put down okay there. racial and ethnic background uh, congresswoman we do not second guess what you put on what you put down okay there. And, well, and, you're and not we do have a write-in we do have a write in director can, right. you're not giving oh Oh, director, you're not giving me the right answer because I'm not white. Look at me. I don't look white, so why you keep calling me white and I have to check white when I'm Arab and I'm North African? Dumbass, you're in the United States of America. Dumbass. If you're here, free white person includes all European Jews, more or less intermix with peoples of Celtic, Scandinavian, Teutonic, Iberian, Latin, Greek, Slavic descent. It includes Magyars, Laps, and Finns, and Basques, and Albanians. It includes Latin, Celtic Iberian, Moorish, Moorish, Moorish inhabitants of Spain and Portugal, mixed Greek, Latin, Phoenician, North African inhabitants of Sicily, and mixed Slav, Tartar inhabitants. It does not mean Caucasian race, Aryan race or Indo-European races. It does not mean Caucasian race. 
it does not mean Caucasian race. White people does not mean Caucasian race. Could I get one in the chat? Could I get one? Let me get one in the chat. Let me get a few. <laughs> it does not mean Caucasian race. Let me get a few. White power. Everything's ours. Everything. It does not mean Caucasian race. White power. It does not mean Caucasian race. It does not mean Caucasian race. It does not mean pointed hat guys running down talking about burning crosses and stuff like that. It does not mean that. Because those people are Caucasian race. So them yelling white power is a fraud. Do you know how do you know how destructive this is to the race paradigm? But because our people are dumb and they don't get it, they lose. Do you know how how absolutely destructive this is to the race paradigm if our people forget saying Moors. Start saying you're white. Forget you don't want to be more is cool. No problem. You don't want a nationality card, you don't want to wear fez, you don't want a noble jewelry and all that kind of, Okay, no problem. Start saying you're white. Stop saying you're black. Let's go that way then. Challenge to all the conscious whoever's, the marching picketing whoever's, all the different schools of thought who's going on stage debating Moors for years. If you don't want to be Moors, fine. Since we know white and black, are not identities their statuses if you don't want to be more cool how about start saying that you're white start calling yourself free white people instead of black people start calling yourself that and let's see how far that goes for you on all the forms stop checking black Stop other and putting putting what you want. Just check white. And let's see where that goes. And then again, when they challenge you on why you checked white, you have director guy. Because he said, they're not supposed to even question what you put on there. They're just supposed to count it. Which lets you know how much BS the census is. Because if it doesn't matter what you put on there, then what are you, what are you counting for? What are you really counting for? What, what, what is this for? If white and black and all that stuff has to do with social statuses, it doesn't have to do with who you are. Right? No, this text, this text on the screen is Black's Law Dictionary definition of free white people. So this is, if, if they're talking about reparations, if they're talking about police kick their ass, if they're talking about marching, if they're talking about civil rights and all that stuff, they're dealing with law. So if they're dealing with law, then they should be using a law dictionary for everything that they're doing. They're not. They're using opinion, which is why they lose and European wins all the time because Europeans deal with law regardless of what these people play, play games with. But once they continue doing colorable activity the european's gonna do colorable activity not that he's not gonna stand on some constitution or whatever but when he's dealing with the color people <laughs> color is definitely gonna apply forget anything lawful or legal or whatever they're not even going there right remember we're the free white people We're the white people, never them. Right? If you have any other questions, put them in the chat in all caps. So that should answer your census question. 
Ça encore pour. If you have any more, throw them in the chat. I know I saw something crazy about get a private plane or something. <laughs> Try to find what find out what that's about. Private planes, like what's going on? Oh, okay, what identification more is used to travel internationally? So, okay, that's what a private plane. Okay, I get it. <laughs> so that's the real deal. The real deal is you want to go somewhere then just go somewhere we we'll rent a plane and you can go wherever you want in the world no questions asked all you need is a pilot but with regard to where you're at the question is can you do that right now like right now could you go buy an international ticket to anywhere well, you have the finance or whatever and just go there without that question being answered if you can then you don't need to know what thing should more is used because you're, you're, you're a more I don't care what you got if you got a passport if you got a if you're a colonist passport if you got a colonist identification if you got a whatever you're still a more that's the, the that's stuff that that they're waving around to pass borders isn't identification. Like when when I travel, nationality card stays in the passport. So when I give that, you you do what you need to do with whatever. They usually read the nationality card, question it or whatever. Yeah, is what it is, you know. But you know they're taking the passport right. that's that's what it is of course they're gonna you know give me the little thing yeah go in the back or whatever like that when you go in the back and end up talking to to a guy about you know why am i a more like what is this oh wow well, that's what this you got a card or something you got a website that i could go on that i could check and just check this out or whatever i never heard about this before ever oh, there's the website there it is Right. Right. I have a baseball hat, fez on, whatever, it doesn't it don't matter. I'm still a more. In the grand scheme of things. So you know whether you have a license or not, you're behind the wheel as a more, you're that's really right to travel, because you're not the license. You know what I mean, you, you you just been played into paying into some stuff that has nothing to do with you and funding these people so they could go to Cancun or whatever. Your ass haven't gone nowhere for, for 20 years. And you're thinking it's because some work thing or whatever. No, it's because you keep funding the European to live. Again, because we want to be black. We don't want to be the sovereigns. So if we don't want to be the sovereign, then ain't, no sovereignty is going on. No being free and having a yacht and all that stuff. Why would you have that? You're not you're not white. You want to be black. And black is a social status, which means bottom of the totem pole. You know? Which really is a powerful position because if you're on the bottom, that means you're holding everybody else's up. Everybody else up. But that's not your original jurisdiction. We were the free white people. We were the landlords everywhere in the world. Uh, I realize the fez may represent the womb. However, is the fez typically intended for men? That's like... Um, if, if men have nipples that don't work, are breasts intended for men? Because we should just have the flat 
we should just have the nothing here because they don't do nothing. What are nipples doing? Nipples doing nothing. Just there. Serving no purpose. I don't even need to be sweat through our nipples or whatever. So if the fez represents a womb, then ain't nothing intended for some men that's supposed to be feminine. And then the feminine can't can't do it. Just use the nipples one. Anytime they try to pull some BS on you. Well, you're not supposed to whatever like that. Well, you got nipples that don't work. Why you have those? What are you talking about? Your nipples don't even work. You don't tell me nothing about giving some orders. You have nipples that don't work. How do you have authority to say something? Right? Matter of fact, when you start to call, talk, talking crazy, just, just, ha just, you just give them the child and you go do something and see what happens. Whether it's baby, you know, toddler, adult, whatever. Leave with mom, leave with dad, see what happens. Fez represents you, woman. So you have supreme jurisdiction over that. We only wear the fez because you, you know, you're you're Negro black color. You're trying to find your way out of this just like us. As far as the genders, I mean, we're all messed up. Everybody's stuff is messed up. Even your nipples kind of messed up because they, they got sisters out there giving Similac or whatever. They're not even you there and getting breast milk. So we're 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 off our rockers on a certain level, you know. But it's a process, so we do our best to try to fix what we know is wrong. And then hopefully the other generations that are coming up behind are going to take those lessons seriously. They're not going to play around like our for our our um, parents played around with it going with the fraud just because you know what I mean just so that the European doesn't beat our ass and all this stuff when we got all this all this stuff was around way before we were supposed to bin the white people by now ruling again if that's all it is if it's just a status thing and then you correct your status well you're correcting your status from a dead status to a free status the dead status is black the free status is white And then the white, the one who's white wears the fez in the open. And then if the one who's wearing the fez is a mother on top of that, well, stuff is over. Stuff is over. That's why, just like we talked about yesterday, at, at, um, at the meeting yesterday, that when someone brought to us and it was a mother too that brought it up the mother brought it up um i just want to ask a question um if more is a matriarchal or whatever how come allah's father why you think allah's father well i think because the patriarch or whatever like that it should really be mother the mother is spoken and then from them on started saying mother for the prayer Oh, Grand Sheiks, Supreme Grand Sheiks all over the world messaging, sending, sending messages. Oh my God, you guys can't do that, changing the prayer and all this. What, do, what are you talking about? Are we matriarchal? Isn't the prophet holding a mother on the one-on-ones? Like, what do you mean? What are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, because when you change it, then you change the energy of the... What, what are you talking about? Right? To the point where we just... Let it be what it is. Who wants to say whatever? You say whatever. We know what you mean, at least in, in our jurisdiction. But, you know, don't get mad. Don't be running the grand chic or whatever like that when these people start talking crazy to you for saying whatever. Mother of the universe and stuff like that. Right? Same thing with the fez. When we, when we had sisters saying, well, if we're the mothers and all this stuff and then the, 
fez is the womb and all that stuff. Why we gotta wear a turban? Yeah, I don't know. Like you, you're a mother. I don't know. You tell me why you only wear a turban. Why you don't wear a fez? I don't know. Why well, don't start wearing feathers then? All right, hey, do, do your thing. It's your womb. I can't really do anything with it. <laughs> the nipples don't work. Oh, you got to have the, the womb works, and then the nipples don't work. It makes sense, right? So yeah, the feathers are yours too. Everything's yours. It's just you not being, you know, in your narcissistic, feminist. You know what I mean? We don't need no man type attitude is what get you in trouble. So don't go there with your powers. Because that's what got us to this stuff in the first place. Everybody drunk off the power. Right. Is Farrakhan a sellout? Definitely Farrakhan's a sellout. But, you know, he knows he's a more. And he nationalized too. So, he's a sellout, but, you know, he should be talking up more. You know. He should be talking up more. When correcting the name, do you keep the nom de gear and just add bay or L at the end? Do you change it? It doesn't have to be Arabic. Because Moors rule the world. Once it's not European. So you would see Moors do that. They would just get the name, whatever they have, John Franklin, and then put L or Bay on it. John Franklin Bay. Yeah, you could do that. Right? But it's not really a status correction. Even though we, we ruled Europe. That's like a Chinese guy called called Ben Smith. You're not looking at him serious. He's, he's, what's your name, Ben Smith? He's like, whatever. What's your name for real? Right? 